Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we are gonna be playing with a Super Ape deck and so far you don't see it but it's not gonna be like a regular Super Ape deck with just cycle cards. Okay, so first will be shown a Bomberman but second uh, second like uh, mysterious card because obviously like I've said it's not gonna be a normal cycle uh, Super Ape deck uh, will be a Bomb Skeleton. So Bomb Skeleton got recently very popular amongst uh, top players and uh, it, this deck is no different like it involves Bomb Skeleton so it definitely has to have at least some potential. I would play Bomberman just to mitigate this damage. I probably even didn't have to but at the same time, uh, it doesn't really hurt my pocket, so I might as well. He's gonna be playing Necromancer against Bomberman. I probably want to play Rolling Steel on that to just clean it up. Very beautiful. Even I probably should play a uh, Rolling Steel to just uh, counter Bomber, uh, uh, counter Necromancer with some uh, Micro involved. I'm gonna play a Spiny to just assure the kill. He's gonna go with for the bullets and I'm pretty sure and right now he has a zero mana situation so I'm gonna just play super ape sell out uh, for some quick damage and my opponent unfortunately will have nothing to play with except for the rolling steel which is absolutely not enough to stop all this uh, oncoming damage he's playing fawn hat at the bridge which is once again uh, not the correct move in this position uh, I'm gonna play bomberman once the yeah, once the phone hat locks on the bomb skeleton, to just eliminate the threat. And I think I kind of want to get aggressive, but at the same time he can drop a dark knight uh, at all times. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go in anyway because I don't see him playing dark knight after playing all these cards. Bomberman will absolutely shred skeleton horde, which is absolutely astounding side because I usually play decks that don't have like a good spell against Skeleton Horde unless like I play Blitz then it's like yeah Blitz is the best counter play Skeleton Horde but usually you don't even want to like uh, uh, worry too much about the Skeleton Horde because even if you cannot like directly counter it there are better ways to just play around it and uh, Usually the way you learn in this game is just trying to uh, counter the cards not only with like their primary counters but also with their secondary counters and that's when you kind of like uh, get more versatile and can play even more bizarre decks. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna get a double lane push right here because I don't think he's stopping either. Uh, I'm gonna get some uh, super ape here. I'm gonna get a... a Phone cack. and yeah I'm gonna get two towers uh, right in the first game no joke intended uh, uh, yeah that's gonna be the game number one and some basics cover about this deck let's hop to the game number two and the game number two will be against dump with 71 medals let's just play ice tiny at the bridge to just try to uh, see what he's got he's gonna be playing a uh, phone heart which I'm gonna counter with Super Ape, I presume that's gonna be the best way to deal with that. And he's gonna be playing a uh, T-Rex. So, already very interesting decisions made by my opponent playing T-Rex and Phone Horde in one deck, which usually is not a good synergy. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna actually play Bomberman into that. I think this balloon will be a nuisance throughout the game, but at the same time, I have a Bomberman, which is an excellent counter to a. The balloon, so he's gonna get a first two hits, but I'm not too worried about it because at the same time I can just get a very strong attack right now. I just hope that my Bomberman will still be up and running for some supporting of the Super Ape and I'm gonna take the tower very swiftly. So the only thing I uh, I think right now is very important will be like holding this tower because if I do, I pretty much am guaranteed to win the game on the spot. I'm gonna play a Fonz and Bomberman, uh, so uh, it's kinda negative trade because I take uh, minus one uh, on that interaction, but he still has to address my Bomberman and I have uh, still cannon to counter this Drunker Loom combo which comes right now. I'm gonna play my Ice Tiny to just delay uh, this uh, Drunker and this cannon should be... Okay, it's not gonna be enough. That tower unfortunately will uh, get a hit. Uh, not drop yet, but it's already very low, so uh, this Ice Tiny obviously could have been better. I was uh, kind of uh, going for a risky move. I hope this Bomb Girl doesn't take this tower and doesn't. 
beautiful stuff. Obviously, he still can like this spell it out, but I'm not too worried because yeah, okay, he, he spells it instantly, which is definitely an incorrect move because right now I can just go for my attack and he will be having less mana than he would uh, normally have to hold it. Uh, I'm gonna just play very aggressively at the bridge because I have a Bomberman on the bridge and Bomberman is absolutely excellent at the uh, uh, bridge fights. Uh, as you can see, it absolutely cleaned up everything and everyone. I'm gonna get even second Bomberman just to intimidate him and make his troops absolutely disappear once they uh, appear near my Bombermans. Unfortunately, I'm gonna lose one Bomberman, maybe even second one. Not really. I'm gonna get one more Bomb Skeleton and it's gonna be absolutely the pool that he cannot hold. Phones are on the tower, Bomberman's on the tower, Bomb Skeleton, Bomb is on the tower and the Bomb Skeleton uh, himself. Yeah, that was just too much for him to handle and that's gonna be the game number 3. Pretty easily wrapped up, let's just... Maybe game, game number 2, I'm not counting too well. Yeah, that was the game number 2, sorry for my mistake. Let's jump to the game number 3. And the next game, already started by playing a skeleton kick very early in this game, will be your worst nightmare. Nightmare, however you want to pronounce it. He's gonna be starting with a skeleton kick, and I'm gonna respond with the Bomberman. He's gonna be obviously protecting these devils, I was uh, pretty sure of that. I'm gonna play some bomb skeleton to just hold this Dark Knight. Fortunately, second tower won't help uh, with defending that, which is pretty. Uh, unfortunate. I'm gonna get uh, some ice tiny action so this uh, bomb skeleton's bomb uh, gets a value and I'm gonna instantly go for the super ape since he's playing very aggressively. I kinda uh, noted that I can be uh, the aggressor as well. Uh, I don't think I want to commit a rolling stone. Okay, now I can commit a rolling stone that because if he plays a skeleton uh, cack, I still can play cannon and I'm gonna hold it. Okay, so. Those, they think I was kind of worried, that's why I didn't like uh, play rolling still instantly. Uh, and that's why I kind of saved mana for this play, so I can pretty much not die in first uh, minute, that would be embarrassing. Okay, so, uh, since uh, we know what uh, our worst nightmare is actually playing, we can match our uh, playstyle into this. We're gonna play Bomberman into this cannon wheel. Uh, I think the phones will be the best play here. That just to get this kind of he plays a lot of mana right now at the bridge, which uh, our Bomberman will deal with. And right now I have a decisive advantage already. I can just play Bomb Skeleton in the back, and I even have a damage advantage. So I don't know where it, where is uh, like uh, his comfort zone. Okay, he's gonna play Skeleton Cake, which is obviously will be annoying. I'm gonna play a Rolling Steel. I could have played Eight Tiny, but I was kind of scared that it's gonna deal. Uh, too much damage for my comfort. Right now I will just get very aggressive at the bridge. I'm gonna get this one. He's gonna get a Dark Knight, which was the thing I expected, but the Super Ape is getting tanked by Bomb Skeleton, so that's gonna be a lot of damage. Without a doubt, uh, this Dark Knight will get uh, absolutely evaporated uh, by this Bomb Skeleton's bomb, and the cannon will be an elegant way to finish it off. So right now I'm gonna just play Bomb Skeleton here, to tank for the cannon wheel, there's uh, no reason to play it uh, otherwise. I could have played a bomb skeleton on top of the cannon wheel, but I wanted just to buy some time. I'm gonna play Bomberman, uh, he's gonna be playing a very aggressive style right now. He's gonna get this one, I'm gonna play Super Ape right now, since uh, devils are targeting uh, the bomb skeleton. It's gonna be absolutely a perfect timing for me to play it. I'm gonna play the Earthquake to finish the tower and it's gonna be the game wrapped up against your worst nightmare. So I'm gonna... Against two. Once again, very good player. Uh, we kinda control the pace of the game and that was pretty much enough to secure the victory. So yeah. Um, let's jump to the game number four. I don't have anything else to say. And the game number four of today's will video will be against Lazbat, who uh, starts with very fast... Uh, Phone keg, which I would love to counter with phones, uh, but I was forced to play the uh, other response, which was rolling still because I was kind of already only just uh, getting to know that he was very aggressive at the beginning. So we we're gonna just start with a bomb skeleton in the back. That's usually a good start to the game. Uh, 
Obviously, it's very combative, so if your opponent knows what he's doing, he can already initiate some counterplay. But if you know what you're doing and you're kinda uh, comfortable with this play, you can usually get away with it. So that's why I've played it. And my opponent is absolutely failing this defense. I can already even tell that he's given up, so that was a very unfortunate start for him. Because, uh, yeah, that, that's not uh, what you want to see after a minute of game, so yeah. I'm gonna play one more game number 4, because it really doesn't count, I'm gonna see you there. And the next game of the video will be against Chivache 845 which is like 2.6k uh, player, who is pretty much uh, very similar on medals right now with me, so... I kinda hope for some good games out of him, I'm gonna play Ice Tiny, he obviously gets a very good trade at the start. I'm gonna play Bomberman and... Okay, <laughs> so... That wasn't the interaction I was expecting, I was expecting him to kinda go for a... Uh, cyclone on my Bomberman and he went for a Poison, which is a guaranteed kill at this point, so yeah. A pretty unfortunate start, but uh, what can I do else? I'm gonna play Ken and then against the East Twins. Very comfortable response, I think I'm gonna take only one hit and that's gonna be absolutely fine by me because I'm gonna get a hit back with a super ape, unless my opponent goes for a cyclone on this super ape which is very unnatural and I would even say very unnecessary. I'm gonna play some phones to counter this ghost and with ice tiny that should be absolutely a wrap, there we go and yeah we're, right now we're just uh, waiting for him to play something, I'm gonna I actually don't know what to play, I'm gonna play bomb skill on the opposite side, try to uh, minimize like the risks of this position, I'm gonna play Ken against this uh, Viking, try to get something going, I'm gonna play Ice Tiny, uh, I'm gonna follow it up by playing a Rolling Steel and the falls so I can distract everything uh, and everyone, he's gonna get very good wins, like very good wins. Against which I'm gonna play a Bomberman. I probably should have played a Super Ape with this Bomb Skeleton. Yeah, that was a mistake. I thought that Bomb Skeleton will keep on uh, retreating, but it was definitely not the case. I'm gonna right now get a very strong attack, and he definitely doesn't have mana to hold it. So that's gonna be a oh, that's gonna be a Bomberman and Super Ape dead with just one Lightning. Very unfortunate to see, but yeah, Chiva Chase recently started to play Lightning as well, which is. Like, very unfortunate, because I just took all this damage unnecessarily, I thought I'm gonna get some momentum rolling, but yeah, it, it just wasn't the case. He's gonna play a Viking here, which is uh, a creative move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Bomberman and Super Ape on the opposite side just to create some pressure. He's gonna get uh, some twins on my Bomberman, which is... Uh, like I usually say, very interesting move, because I didn't anticipate that. He's gonna receive a lot of damage after this sequence, which is absolutely something I need. I'm gonna play Bomb Skeleton in the back, because I don't really need to uh, stop this Ghost hit. And yeah, I'm gonna stop this one. I think I'm gonna just go for the same play as I previously did. He will have to be forced to use a Lightning. And that's absolutely fine by me, because every Lightning he uses on uh, defense, he cannot use on offense. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna get a kite on this ghost, which is very unfortunate. He gets a poison in, and yeah, right now I kinda have to uh, be uh, very focused. I'm gonna play a bomb skeleton here. I'm gonna play a can here to distract his piercing archer, but yeah, it just doesn't work. I'm gonna get this one though. So yeah, right now I kinda have to be very quick with my counterplay. I'm gonna get an Ice Tiny, which was very unfortunate, because right now my Super Ape won't get any damage, so yeah, that was very, very unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna get a Bomberman here. I think that's gonna be a cool way of doing things right here. I'm gonna get a Cannon, and right now I kinda have to go for a Super Ape. Uh, yeah, I'm I don't know what to do, I'm gonna play like this, block these Twins, and fortunately we get enough damage to seal the game very close ending here, but we definitely managed to get things done against Chivache and yeah, this deck is not like the best against Viking, I think actually Viking has the matchup here, especially with like weird things that Chivache is throwing at us, but we've managed to persevere and definitely that was an entertaining watch, so let's jump to the game number 5 and wrap this video up. 
And the last game of this video will be against the GM Maxer, who is uh, 149, which is pretty much already 150. And he starts with Bomb Girl, so I presume he's playing Steel by the end. As you pro probably then can tell from my first play, first playing a uh, Rolling Steel against a Steel Bait is not a dream case scenario for me. So I'm gonna try to basically not die here. Uh, let alone like I'm not gonna be fighting for an advantage just now. I'm gonna play bomb. I mean, he's gonna play Viking into this, which is absolutely fine by me, because I'm gonna just get a lot of value with my troops. I'm gonna actually go for a super ape here, try to predict some uh, swarm response, and I absolutely hit a jackpot scaled horde predicted with a bomb girl. Good stuff. We love to see it. So against a uh, phone cake, which I very. Uh, very anticipated already. I'm gonna just play Fons and Ice Tiny. Uh, although I can place Ice Tiny at the bridge to just force out some response. That's not too bad of a play. I'm gonna play Bomb Scout in the same lane. Even though he has Viking, I can pretty already sense that going same lane will be a, a way to go for me. I'm gonna play Cannon here uh, to get uh, kiting on these runners because runners are scary. I'm I'm gonna get a pretty good cleanup. I would love to get a cleanup on the bomb girl bar as well, but I don't think that's the case here, so I'll have to play like something else. I'm gonna choose a bomberman because it's gonna pretty uh, well like synergize with my offensive super ape. It creates uh, some pressure. He couldn't like play if I can hit his comfort spot, and that's why he gets like one hit. Very cool stuff. Sometimes the game is not about making always the best play for you. But sometimes you just also have to think that on the opposite side there's a, a player sitting. So uh, sometimes the best play is the like uh, most annoying play for your opponent. So if you're playing like Super A uh, in front of the Bomberman, that's definitely annoying for your opponent to defend because like he cannot uh, use a normal swarm response and stuff, something like this. I'm pretty sure that my audience is smart and you will just figure it out for yourself in the practical games. I'm gonna play second bomb skeleton just to pretty much piss off my opponent. He's gonna get rid of the first one which uh, was <laughs> which was a wave of a bomb skeleton or by this time uh, I'm gonna get like two hits with the super A because shield skeletons still have a uh, lot of a damage out. I'm gonna play a Bomberman uh, in case he was like crazy and wanted to go for the bomb girl into my bomb skeleton's bomb. But some people still play like this, so you kind of have to know what you're doing. I'm gonna play Fonz here, and he's gonna be playing a Runners. Very interesting uh, way to uh, counter playing me. I'm gonna receive a one hit from this runner. Unfortunate, I wanted to beat this guy without taking any damage, but that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna get uh, my super ape here, and uh, I would love to get a tower here, but I know that shield skeletons will just mitigate enough damage, so I still uh, am off by two hits from taking this tower. I'm gonna play uh, some offense. Yeah, I don't think I'm just getting this tower. Uh, I'm gonna play Super Ape here. I'm gonna play. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna play actually. I think that would have won me the game if I did, but yeah, I was just uh, trying to play it safe to not throw this game uh, in the last second. Yeah, that's gonna be the last game either way. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed because this deck is very easy to play and. Uh, pretty much uh, suits uh, this meta very well. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be the video about this deck. I hope you guys enjoy it because uh, I kind of uh, sneaked some uh, tips in my gameplay and uh, I hope you guys kind of learned something from watching that. If you don't like, leave the comment and tell me because uh, that's kind of my primary purpose. I want to post a videos that kind of will uh, teach you on how to play the strategy games like Boom Arena. So yeah, that's gonna be it from me in today's video. Thanks you for thank you for watching till the end. If you did enjoy, make sure to, you're subscribed to my YouTube channel because I post Boom Arena videos on the daily basis. So yeah, you don't want to miss them out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.